Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, thank you very much for coming out. My name is Jeff Smith. Um, I'm speaking on behalf of a group we formed up near Gimli. I'm called the People for the Preservation of the Willow Island Coastal Wetlands. Um, there's two issues that we really hope to raise today. The first one is the destruction of the wetlands. Um, and wetland destruction is being attributed to compound the effects of climate change, the flooding we see today in Ontario, New Brunswick, Quebec. Um, is being reported by the experts, is being literally compounded by um, our destruction of wetlands. Manitoba has lost 70% of its wetlands since we started settling here. Ontario is reporting this morning they've lost 73%. Because of the size of our cities, because of the loss of wetlands, our flooding is now becoming extreme. Within Gimli, we have got the last of what is considered to be rare protected coastal wetland. Um, there is no more. Um, the stretch between where Gimli is now and Bentley Creek is about all that remains of what was once a fairly extensive natural habitat. Um, we are concerned for the loss of that natural habitat because the habitat serves as the kidneys for the province and for the lake itself. And we have issues with the lake where the lake is dying and the lake is dying because of the pollutants that come off the fields, that come out of the rivers and it's affecting our fisheries. There were reports last week on the whole fishery industry and the the reduction of quotas and the increase of gill net sizes. Um, and all of this causes concern for us as residents. The destruction of the wetland is making and is going to make life on the lakes, life for all of us in the province, somewhat more complicated. The other part to that is, is of even greater concern to us is the government's complicity in supporting that destruction of the wetland. We have legislation in this province, and it's fairly robust legislation, that protects wetlands at all levels. There is the chance of replacing some of that wetland and we go forward with things like the net zero loss of wetland. So in some cases you can build it, if you destroy it one place, you can put it in somewhere else. The coastal wetlands is not possible. Um, to give you an idea how important that is, the East Interlakes um, Conservation District passed a specific resolution identifying and declaring the coastal wetland along our coast on the western side of Lake Winnipeg is rare and it cannot be replicated anywhere else, period. And yet we have a government that is authorizing the construction of holiday homes um, and infill on this very wetland. And it's either doing it in support of the developers or it's turning a blind eye to private developers that are, that are doing their own thing. And that concerns us. And what we're here today is to present Minister Squires with a document package that highlights the issues with one particular spot within the Miklovic Siglovic um, development area. And it shows that, that between 2007 and 2014, there was four separate applications to develop that land and turn it into a fairly significant residential complex. Each time it was presented, it was defeated down. The last time it went to the minister's office, um, Gord McIntosh was the minister at the time, and it came back saying the land is protected, the land cannot be built on, it violates the legislation in place. The legislation has not changed. Um, it protects perhaps the most important piece that we've got is planning, the Planning Act. And the Planning Act expressly forbids construction on wetland, apart from if it's needed for flood mitigation, so in an emergency situation. But that is the only exception it has. Our governments at all levels, municipalities, the provincial, even perhaps the federal, are turning a blind eye to this. And we are concerned, so our intent today is to turn this package over to Minister um, Squires and, and try and get a response back in terms of why are they authorizing this. And so that's where we are. Um, we want to preserve the wetlands. We want to preserve it for future generations. I'm concerned for my granddaughter. She's three years old. I want the lake to be there for her to enjoy and for her to benefit from and enjoy a healthy lifestyle long after I'm gone. And at the current rate we're going, that will not happen. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I can tell you. Um, it's, this is only a representative group from our area. Um, the word is spreading. We have people from Winnipeg who are joining, joining our particular group. Um, and we intend to keep it going. This is an issue that cannot be allowed to die. We are not prepared to let it die. Um, and we will hold the government accountable to ensuring that the laws that they pass to protect our lands, to protect our people, 
are actually enforced, and that's the issue right now, is that it's not being enforced. It's not being um, regulated. It is not being looked at, apart from when a complaint goes in. So that's our point. Um, the coastal wetlands is a part of it. The wetlands across the province are significant, um, and they need to be protected. Uh, 